I have got the new Too Faced Christmas in New York set to share with you guys today. Um, this is available on the Sephora website and I believe Ulta is going to come out with their own version and then there's the little house one as well which I'm thinking about getting that one but um, today I'm going to show you guys this one. As per usual with Too Faced it does come with a little look card inside of the box and then the actual packaging. My lid, this is the lid that came on the top, it like doesn't want to go back on. <laughs> Super, like the packaging is super cute, right? It's the same style of packaging that they did yet last year with the, I think it was Christmas in Paris. Like super, super duper cute packaging. There's the palette housed in here. But the thing with me and the packaging is it's a lot of cardboard and it's big. And I would just rather see that excess like packaging and stuff put into the actual like palette that's inside. Like maybe put it, house it in some, you know, heavy duty tin like they like to do or plastic or something because I'm just not going to keep that box around, but I'm going to keep this around. Also inside the box there is a mini Too Faced Shadow Insurance, a mini Better Than Sex Mascara, and then one of their melted chocolate lipsticks, and these smell like caramel. This one is chocolate milkshake, and I do have that on my lips today, as well as a demo for um, the eyeshadows and the lips, which will be towards the end of the video if you're interested in that. There are 18 eyeshadows in this palette that are 0.03 ounces a piece, and then there are three larger eyeshadow pans that are 0.07 ounces a piece, and the three face products that are included in here are 0.08 ounces. I've used this for the past four days because I kind of really wanted to get a feel for it. And some of the shadows are misses and some of them are hits and some of them are just kind of in between. Like Sugared Raisin and Indulge are two quite glittery type of shades, which I'll zoom in and give you guys uh, swatches in just a minute. But um, there was a little bit of fallout with them, but packed over like a sticky base, they did turn out quite pretty, but they're chunky. The shade Cookie Dough is kind of a matte with the sparkles infused in it, which it's just, that shadow is just a bust for me. It's not... It's not very nice. <laughs> um, Inner Light, which is the highlighter, um, I didn't use that one today because it's, it's too dark and the texture of it isn't very nice. So I went with the Too Faced Candlelight Glow instead. And then I did find the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer to be on par with their full-size Chocolate Soleils. And then the Chocolate Covered Strawberry is a really pretty blush. It blended out quite nice and has good pigmentation. Each time that I used this palette, I did like the eye looks that came out of them. Some of the shadows I had to work with a little bit more than others. Some of them were a little bit drab and some of them are really great. I did use mattes from the crease upwards today and I had to I had to work a little bit at blending them, kind of a pack and blend type of situation, so I would have liked them to blend just a little bit better. But I have used other ones that blended really nice. Hopefully you guys will be able to tell like the texture and the pigmentation and stuff like that in these swatches. As far as the shade selection is concerned, if you have any of the Too Faced like holiday palettes or even some of their larger um, other releases palettes, you're gonna have if not the same, very similar shades in those palettes. I don't think this is this palette is a necessity in terms of the type of colors that you're going to get. Here's the palette up close. And then this is about how thin it is. It's like the same size as last year's. The little motif on the inside. And then here are your shades. For matte eyeshadows, I would say Cookie Dough is a matte, um, but it does have those little gold sparkles through it, but the base is matte. Uh, Raspberry Rose is a matte. Guilt Free Tootsie. Chocoholic. The Chocolate Soleil Bronzer is matte. Toffee Crunch. Cake Batter. Glaze. Banana Date. And the blush. Those are all the matte products in here. For swatches, I'll start off with these face products. Again, Inner Light. Um, I'm just not a fan of it. The texture is quite gritty. Chocolate Soleil was great. The blush was great. So I'll start off with this guy. And then this one. That one. I do like that they included two pans that are larger that are both mattes. So we've got this guy and these two. And then these bottom three, which I've got all three of these shades on my eyes today. 
this blue shade was is it was really really pretty I was like surprised because I hadn't even swatched it yet See, that, this shade right here is just, it's not very good. <laughs> and then the next two, where this one here is quite gritty, it's one of the mattes that I have in the crease today, and I notice a little bit of hard pan forming on that one already. Like, this one is much softer than this one. This one's quite stiff. And then these next ones, which I feel like both of these shades are quite nice. I've used this shade uh, a few times on the eyes kind of to blend out and it looks, it looks a bit better on than it does in this swatch, but. And then these next two, there's some heavy machinery going on outside. So hopefully just ignore that. And then these guys, I do feel like the, the shades that are kind of like just shimmers, not the glitters, but the shimmer shades, I feel like those ones are, are nice quality for the most part. And then these last two purples. This one's a little bit, um, it's a little bit stiff. But the color is beautiful though. Here is a side by side of last year's palette, which is over here, and then this year's palette. There were a lot more like fallout glittery shades in last year's than this one and I do feel like the two shades that are are kind of chunky and glittery glittery are better quality than than the ones that were in this one but there's like you can see there's a lot of similar colors <laughs> I do feel like this year's palette is better than last year's palette but there are still some miss shades that are misses in there. While I do find the packaging cute, I also find it pretty inconvenient and I wish they would have just made, put more into the packaging of the actual palette. If you want to see those products demoed in the look that's on my face, you can hang tight and we'll get into it right now. Now using a Chikahoto T Forward brush, I'm going to go into the Chocolate Soleil, which is in the palette. And kind of contour and bronze up my face with this guy. My hair looks nuts because like this is just how I leave it when I get out of the shower <laughs> until I'm done with my makeup. A little heavy handed there. I'm going to go in with this Hakuhoto blush brush and go into the chocolate covered strawberry blush and put this guy on my cheek. Some of the powder <laughs> is already kind of like gotten towards my mouth and I can taste it because this is like smells like chocolate so it's definitely got cocoa powder in it blush is nice too now I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the face I've got a Chikahoto powder brush and I'm gonna use the Guerlain meteorites today so I did use a pretty heavy layer of sunscreen already I'm just gonna buff these all over the face I'm going to lightly prime my eyes with the NYX eyeshadow base from the lash line to up underneath the brow. I used quite a bit of the neutrals in this palette already so I think I'm going to be a little adventurous today. <laughs> On the Sakahoto flat shader I'm going to dip into the shade Mint Chip which is like a, it's like a teal blue shade. I'm going to put that all on the center and outer half of the lid. That is a really pretty color. You 
using the side of that same brush, I just kind of dusted it off a little bit. I'm going to go into the shade Sugar Bells. <laughs> I always get a kick out of these names, but I'm going to put that in the inner portion and overlap it over part of that blue and turn my brush sideways and buff them together. I'm going to go ahead and use mattes from the crease on upwards and I'm going to start off with the shade Tootsie which is a matte brown on a Chickahoto GSN 9 and I'm going to start in the crease Then on a Hakuhodo J5523 brush, I'm going to go into the shade Toffee Crunch, which is kind of a um, a little bit of a yellow toned brown. I like that slightly mustardy type of brown. Start blending out the crease here. Or like the crease. I'm a little bit higher than the crease. <laughs> blending out that brown. We'll just go with that. I'm going to further blend that out in just a minute. I want to put down something underneath the brow first. Using a flat shader, I'm going to go into Banana Date, <laughs> which is um, the darkest of the matte highlight shades. It's like the bigger pan. I'll put this underneath the brow and bring it down. I can <laughs> taste the go-go. Then back in with that Hakuhodo G5523. I'm not going to pick up any more product, but I'm going to bring this up a little bit. Or am I going to pick up a little bit more product? I am going to pick up just a little bit more product. <laughs> actually pick up a little bit of Chocolate Soleil, the bronzer, with that brush and go up here with it. Okay, that's better. That's better. We're getting really high, but whatever. I'm not too happy with that area. I'm going to pick up more of Banana Date on this brush and kind of just pack it in here. Okay, that's a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my eye makeup and I'll be right back to put on some lips for you guys. For lips, I've got Urban Decay's lip liner in the shade Ex-Girlfriend. I'm going to go ahead, this needs to be sharpened, <laughs> line these. Then I'm going to go in with the chocolate milkshake that came in the kit and put this guy on. This this smells like caramel, caramel. So there is the overall finished look using the Christmas in New York set from Too Faced. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I'll see you guys later. Bye.